Um, so my question is actually on Bharat, uh, it, since the government there is going to be changing pretty soon. And I wanted to find out, you know, Hinduism concentrates a lot about inner transformation. But I see a lot of lack of, you know, a social consciousness and service, or as you term, uh, you know, going out and um, having a sense that, you know, this is my country. How, what do you see needs change in India? Why do you think it's lacking? Sorry? Why do you think it's lacking? I think because from early on, I mean from ages… No, no, not… Uh, why, why do you come to this conclusion that it's lacking? I see it. No, it's not true. You, you were looking at it from a… Uh, you're trying to put a, a template, a Western template on India, which we… we're very proud that we are like a cosmic chaos. You understand? <laughs> we feel homesick if there's too much order. <laughs> Do not misunderstand that as lack of, uh, you know, passion for what it is. There's enormous passion. You should see. You just see there is no other nation where such a large democratic exercise happens the way it happens in India. No other country on the planet can fulfill that, believe me. You should see how it happens. Even the poorest, in the remotest possibility where there's no road or electricity, even there he gets to vote, okay? It's a big thing. Anyway, what is the possibility? The next five years, if we'll be scintillating for India, probably ten years. So, big changes are going to happen for sure because what has been lacking for India is an Indian has never been the leader of the country. When I say this, I'm saying our education systems in India have been such, once we get English educated, our brains are in green which mean time. <laughs> yes. So, there is no… There, is, there has not been a leadership who understands people the way they are. Somebody who will not ask Indian people to fit into another format, which is not theirs. They made them… they made ordinary people feel ashamed just because they don't know how to speak English. They can speak their mother tongues fluently, but people are ashamed that they can't speak English. When you… see, nation is just an idea, let's understand this. It's not some God-given thing, it's just an idea. If you invest certain passion in this idea, nation becomes strong. When you're ashamed of being who you are, how will there be passion about it? For the first time, we are having a leadership which is passionate about who we are, okay? This is very important. This is over a ten, twelve thousand year old culture, which is so complex that you cannot put it into simple logical analysis that you normally put other societies into because it is too complex and it's too multi-dimensional, multi-ethnical, everything multi, okay? It needs a very organic leadership, not a synthetic leadership which drops there because somebody is somebody's son or daughter, okay? That's what has happened in the last thirty years. 